When defining models, it is often desirable to dimension and tolerance assemblies rather than individual parts. This can be a useful practice for creating relative measurements between related features or for providing a better sense of overall size on the assembly. Although SOLIDWORKS does not currently allow for the use of DIM expert in assemblies, we can still apply dimensions to multi-part constructions through the use of multi-body parts. This tutorial will outline the process of converting this assembly model of a pulley into a multi-body part and then defining it using SOLIDWORKS DIM expert. This model includes a main body, a pulley wheel, a swiveling base, and a pin for mounting the wheel. Some important information that we wish to convey are the sizes of the mounting pin and the hole that it will rest in. We also want to define the distance between the hole in the base and the center of the wheel, as well as the overall height of the pulley system. Finally, we will place dimensions and tolerances on the individual components of the pulley as well. To begin, let's convert this assembly to a multi-body part. We do this by choosing to file save as and selecting the solid part extension, rather than the assembly extension. It is important to choose to save all the components of the assembly to ensure that they are rendered as solid bodies. Now that we have saved the assemblies apart, it can be opened as a multi-body part. Let's dimension the size of the mounting pin and the central hole of the pulley body first. To do this, we simply place size dimensions on the features as we would any single body part. Now let's define the distance between the hole in the base and the center of the body. To do this, we place a location dimension between the two holes. Let's add some more dimensions to define the overall size of the pulley. Now let's do a little more work to define the pulley body. A useful tool for this is the isolate option. By right clicking the solid body and selecting isolate, we can hide all the other bodies in this model. From here, we can define the body of the pulley as if it were a standard part. Now that we have added dimensions and tolerances to our model, let's finish by adding some materials to it. We can add material properties to each individual body in this model by expanding the Solid Bodies folder in the Property Manager. We then right-click on a body and select Edit Material. Any material we choose from this menu will only be added to the body that we specified. Once we add some more materials, we will have a dimensioned and tolerance part ready to be exported.